hello guys brenda here and welcome to motivation with brenda this is the channel where we talk about all the life lessons life motivation life inspiration and everything that will go a long way into helping you not to give up in your life and so guys today i'm so excited because what we're going to talk about today is something that is really close to my heart most of the people were asking me that i should share my parenting strategies and guys i think uh that's a good topic and I, I thought to myself why not give it a shot so today we're going to talk about the, the five important tips that will make you a better parent parenting is a goes a long way at is it's not all about as in what you provide for the family it it's more than that so first things first for me i'm a parent of a very small kid a one year old and you see for for such a, a, a kid you cannot say that you just you sit down and as in have a conversation on what things are supposed to be done because that's still a toddler who cannot communicate and just because the kid cannot communicate it doesn't mean that now you just have to stop there because the kid cannot communicate now you'll not do anything in, to make sure that the child grows up to be a responsible member of the family no that's that uh, disciplining your kid from a very young age so when I talk about discipline most of the people will start thinking about the various ways in which their parents used to discipline them like for me my parents used to beat me a lot I was a one stubborn child I was very very stubborn and being the firstborn made it even hard because as a firstborn you have to be an example to the kids so and I was a very mischievous kid, I, I tell you guys, I was very mischievous. So for me, I used to be punished a lot. So there are several ways you can use to discipline your child. Like for me, uh, for my small baby, I, 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 at his age right now, he knows that my, the types of voices that I make. I can speak and you know that I'm in a happy mood. And then there's a time I'll speak and know, he will immediately know that things are not okay. There must be something that he's, you know, he's not doing as in this there must be something that he's not supposed to be doing but he's doing so you'll see him he'll stop doing whatever he's doing and then he'll just mimic here or just keep quiet and for my kid i don't know i don't know how he does it but there's a way Nikki Mwangalia, you'll just know that it's about to go down it's about to get bad for my kid uh basically uh, i sometimes punish i punish the kid I beat him with my fingers, my two fingers, not just ile uchungu, but just gently to know that every mistake is accompanied by pain. No, in this century, most parents are, about, are against punishing their kids. That's okay. If it works for you, it's okay. Parents have different ways of raising their kids. If you feel beating doesn't work for you, it's okay. But for me, I gently beat my kid. Uh, and you know, uh, for a kid to grow up properly and to be a uh, responsible member of the society you have to make sure that you've created an environment where he can thrive up well where he can grow up knowing that he can express himself or herself easily you create an environment where the kid will feel comfortable staying within uh it's you know it's so bad when the child does not feel comfortable in the surrounding maybe they're scared uh they'll be beaten or they're scared uh they will know as in they will they will be made to feel bad about themselves so for me beating and praying for my kid has helped me so far and i hope uh, you know he's growing up he's still a small baby i don't know what tomorrow he has in store for me but i hope it will be it will be good i, I hope for the best you just hope for the best i am so guys today we're going to talk about the five 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 tips for you to be a better parent so guys this is the point where you subscribe if you, you've not subscribed to motivation with brenda please subscribe and guys note that we change our name we are no longer doing going by bring kenya right now we are motivation with brenda because we are serving the motivation after motivation okay guys so five tips to be a better parent so guys first of all note that parenting is not about how many days you are pre as in you are there with your part you, with your child no it's about the quality the quality of your parenting that will determine how the child grows up so the five the five tips that we are going to talk about they are all about uh, the quality of parenting that you offer your child okay so can your presence be felt by the child that's a good one 
can the child comfortably stand before people and say that you know what i'm here because my mother was there for me my father was there for me my parents were there for me i can feel as i i, I grew up feeling their presence in my life can your child say that you are a present parent then that, that that question is followed by are you always an absent parent i know we are living in a generation where everything involves money and parents have to go out almost every day to get a living to make sure that the child uh, the the basic needs of the child are, are met but that not notwithstanding are you a present parent are you always absent and every day the child complains you just keep uh, giving excuses that you know baby i have to go out and make money so that you can pay the rent i have to go out and make money so that i can get you the gifts are you always an absent parent if you're an absent parent you are ruining your parenting be there for your child okay the third tip is do your children feel appreciated by you you as the mother you as the father do you appreciate your child for the small things they do if your child uh, does something that and they are they feel as in the ch your child comes to you telling you daddy mommy i did this and i'm very happy i was the uh, as in something that made them feel nice about themselves do you appreciate them do you make them feel appreciated for the small wins they get while, while doing their things do you appreciate your child that was the third tip the fourth tip do they do your children feel loved by you and i think this is where most of the parents go wrong you see you may think that uh, by just giving your child gifts, by just uh, as in give, buying your, your child presents, your, the child feels love. You know there are different love languages. I know children are not exceptions. People have people develop love languages from their childhood. So create time to talk to your child. Let your child express himself, or let your child express herself, so that you understand them as in for who they are. Child A is can never be the same as child B. Those are two different people. You you may be doing something right, yes. You may be giving them all those gifts. You may be doing different things for them, but they don't feel love. So create time to to talk to your child to make sure that you you show love for them using their their primary love languages. If the child likes receiving gifts, give the child gifts. And if the child like uh, enjoys your attention most, don't be so busy for the child. Get create time to be with the child so that they feel loved. Okay, then this is uh, the final tip where most of us go wrong, especially uh, if you're a single parent, if you're a single father, and if you're a single mother. Are you always present in their in your child's special day? Are you present in your child's special day? Special days. If you are a Christian, are you were you there in your child's dedication? Were you there when that child went to school, the child's birthday, those special special days for your children? Were you present? You may take it lightly, but it affects the things a lot. Because if you, the, the child knows this is my special day, I expect that my, my parents will be present, then you fail to present yourself there. My friend, just know that the quality of your parenting will be affected because the child will not feel that love, okay? And you see, if you miss any of them, you are communicating to the child. You, you are communicating to the child that, ah, you, you baby, you are not important to me. You baby, you can always wait so that I can do my things, then you'll come after I've completed my things. So make sure you are present in your child's important days in life. And for, if you are a single parent, it's not about you parents. You parents will fail. But now don't let the child suffer because of, of you, your problem, you the adults who fail to sort out your issue. The child is just an innocent being. So if you don't talk to your, your partner after you separated, maybe you are divorced, you are still a parent to your child. The child has still has your blood running in their bloodstream. So don't forsake the child because of your problems. No, no, no. Actually, that has to stop right now. Okay? So make sure you're present in your child's important days their birthdays, their dedication, the first day they set foot on in school, and the weddings, as we make sure you're just there. At a camera, you don't feel like it, push yourself, just take yourself there. 
and it will go away a long way in, in mending your relationship with your kids so guys i hope you you are satisfied with my with those tips i don't have much parenting strategies because my boy is just a little toddler but i i, I had to research on this because he will not stay like, uh, stay a baby for so long so i decided to share with you guys what i've learned so far i hope you've enjoyed uh, you've enjoyed and i hope you've learned okay so if you you've not subscribed please subscribe you can watch my other videos i have videos on my love story life lesson relationship and dating advices so you can watch any that you want and guys that was it for today you can like this video subscribe to my channel you can share the love to your, your friends and uh so yeah that was it for today go out there and be better parents to your kids to your friends kids to your cousins little baby little cousins until next time guys